Hi everyone, today I'm going to demonstrate to you how you could convert a VCD or DVD that are with dual audio source into a single audio source. Um, to do this, I need a software and the software I'm going to use is a free software that are available for everyone. It is called Handbrake. Simply search for it using any search applications that you have and get into the Handbrake.com fr website and you should see that there are available version for different operating system you have a mac os windows ubuntu linux and other software as well so i have downloaded for windows curiously i'm going to launch the software right now the first time you launch the software you will actually see that uh, there's a, it will prompt you for source selections and you can actually click on the folder to scan for available video source the example that I use here is a DVD media. That's where you can see that there are only two folders audio underscore TS and video underscore TS. And for DVD, you should select video underscore TS. The moment you select the folder, it will scan for the title. And, and uh, if it contains only two titles, it will show two. Title. It will sh if, it, if it contain 10 titles, it will show 10 titles. For VCD media, the folder is, is different and it will be called MPEG AV. M -P -E -G -AV. Once you have scanned the source and it is ready, the software will show that there are two titles Title 1, Title 2. You can identify the valid title based on the amount of time that it runs so for example title 1 only runs for 21 seconds and title 2 is 4 hours 11 minutes and 59 seconds so I'm going to select title number 2 and in most of the DVD it contain uh, one title but in multiple chapters so as you can see that there is a tab called chapter it will show that there are four chapters in this title and each chapter has uh, different durations if you like to scan and convert all this into a digital format and only with one single file, you do not need to do anything. You can simply select a destination by clicking the browse and indicate the file name. However, if you would like to split the chapter into a single file, for example, chapter one in one file and vice versa, then you need to change the selection over here you can see title 1 to title 4 so I'm going to do that by selecting title number 1 next thing you do is you need to browse and point it to the destination folder I'm going to call that chapter 1 and save it all file is actually saved in mp4 and you can also select the different source mkv and before you start converting you need to select the language Click on the audio tab and you should see there are two different languages. In this example, it is a Chinese and a Korean. Chinese and Korean. And if you have a English, Hindi chapter or audio um, uh, DVD, you should see the respective language over here. And for VCDs itself, you may not see the language selection over here, but rather there will be a manual left, mono left, or mono right output mono bracket left only or mono bracket right only so in this demonstration is purely a dvd that's where you can select the respective language over this pull down the first pull down menu. so once i've selected the language i can add it to the queue for example i can add it to the queue and this is chapter one and then the founding is chapter one mpeg4 mp4 and I'm going to do that for the subsequent chapter. I'm going to rename the file. Chapter 3. I'm going to rename the file. And chapter 4. And I'm going to rename the file as well. Once we have added all the chapter for this uh, DVD media, you can start the queue by either from this button over here or from the main window so in this demonstration I'm going to convert a small section of just like three minutes and I'm going to end it so that um, 
you can see that the results of the output when I play the movie in the, the respective language. This demonstration and this lesson is to allow you to convert your physical DVD or VCD media into a digital copy so that you can save it for future in case that your DVD or your VCD were damaged due to whatsoever reason you still have a digital copy that you can view from the purchase that you have made yes. and I'm going to start the converting now and before I start conversion, you can also see that there are a lot of preset buttons um, depending on the various resolutions. So it is very much depend on the source. If your source is full HD, then you can convert in full HD format. If your source is not full HD, perhaps uh, you there is no point for you to select full HD because the source, the conversion quality is very much depending on the original source. So I'm going to start the queue, and you will you see that they are pending three jobs in this con loading the first job which is the first chapter and it will show you how many percents that is converting and the time remaining for this chapter for example the time remaining is actually 30 minutes and the elapsed time is um, 19 seconds 20 seconds so the time will vary depending on your computer if it is uh, running uh, high, at high speed it may actually take less of time you can see that the, the timing remaining will, will jump depending on the, uh, the speed of your computer. So um, I'm going to end at uh, 3% so that uh, I can play back the file so that you can see that it is actually converting in the Chinese language source. So I finish that now and I want to stop the recording. Okay, I'm going to play back the movie right now. <laughs> For VCD media, the folder structure are very different and you need to select the respective folder. For example, as you can see in this example, it is a VDD. VCD media and the folder structure is different and you should select MPEG DV as a source folder. When it's scanned, it will show the title right here and you should select the title and the respective chapter if you have more than one chapter. One thing that you need to take note for the audio itself is very different. You do not have more than one selection of the language over here but rather you can select either mono left or mono right. For this example, mono left is a Cantonese language, mono right is the Chinese language for this VCD. And if you have a Hindi, English version, likely that the Hindi is on the left channel and the English is on the right only. Okay. Okay, thanks for giving this demonstration and happy converting and feel free to subscribe to this channel so that I can share more of the tips and tricks in the future and you will not miss that. Thank you so much.